much the rain washed off. Yes, um, <laughs> still ready. Ah, there we go. Another blah, gray, wintry type day, late fall. A uh, bit of a different start to the day, not so early in the morning. I kind of appreciate being able to sleep in just a little bit lighter than 4.30. <laughs> Even still, with no alarm, I still woke up at like 6 and I finally got it up at like 6.30. But uh, I had to go for an afternoon bit of contract work down, uh, down in the Simcoe area. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to get down there. I'm going to... I already I scouted out a spot that I could potentially just go and drive to and just to see. Um, I wonder what it was like till I get there. And so now I'm just gonna go grab a coffee, you know, because coffee o'clock is still going on. And uh, maybe a little snack to hold me over throughout the rest of the afternoon until I get back home again. So, yay, it should be a pretty decent day. private houses off to my left so uh we filmed those but it's a nice old dead end road a lot of old trees a lot of really rotted old trees have been here for a while slowly decaying stuff's just broken down huh amazing that's kind of cool Amazing that tree stuff standing. Looks like there's been some fire put in there. You can see a bit of burn marks in there. Hmm. A little bit of garbage, but nothing else surprising. Okay, nice little area to check out. I'm just going to see if I got any of that lithium grease still in my. Soft trunk. Just got your WD-40, so we'll do that for now, and I'll have to, I think my lithium grease is at home. I'll give it a couple of shots and see how it goes. It seems to have cleared that up. Yay, no more squeaks on every shift. Next little thing to replace. Just got the hand going to see. This is handy, it's a little blue light, but it keeps coming out loose of course which then you know would disconnect i want to see if this stays in a little stronger already so quick i can't reach out it's gonna be better because it's not popping out the other one put in you, you see that just and it just slowly starts waking away that's why i had some duct tape here i'll put this one in it stays oh i like it all right and then we'll have to plug that in Yay, more things done. Small things that just irritate you and now you don't need I don't need that anymore. Keep it keep the other ones a backup. Short lived victory. The other guy wouldn't charge my phone. It's not rated high enough. So back to this. I really don't want to break out the hot glue gun just for this, so I am seeing some nicer ones online, so I end up gonna to have to replace this all together. But the whole thing will eventually be redone, but for now I just need to 
I've got one output here. This this one that's built into the splitter, if you call it, will charge the phone. And this one, I'll have to hopefully charge something else too. But, oh, there's, this is the joys of trying to do it yourself without throwing money at everything all the time. Yep, still coffee o'clock. But with the added side of fake Mar bars, fake Mars bars. And it's just called Meteor. Get it? Right? Mars, Meteor, Space. It's the same thing, except that they come with, it's just 72 grams. I forget what the regular Mars bar is, but it's, I don't think it's much more than that. Or it's about the same, because there's two in here. And uh, 50 cents. Hard to beat that kind of pricing when it's the exact same bar. I mean, and then you've got to watch for dollar stores, um... Mm, I'll say deceptive sales practices because when you see these the sign on the bin says two for one dollar which implies you have to buy two of them to get you know when you pay one dollar still not a bad price you get four but you can't buy just one for 50 cents but they will tell you that yeah funny how uh business is working yeah this is my little cheap sweet snack treat should that be a phrase cheap sweet snack treat Ooh. I'm sorry about that. This probably might be stuck in your head now, but you know, there, there you have it. So, that's like your regular Mars bar. Nothing fancy. So, there are two kids down here um, fishing. I asked, do you usually get much down here? He said, no, not usually. Sometimes you get lucky. Said, yeah, that's cool. This is the Grand River, and it's a long river through southern Ontario. I don't know exactly how long it is, but it, it goes all uh, quite a ways. I mean, right now I'm down uh, by uh, York, Ontario, and this goes all the way up to like Kitchener, Cambridge. I know it goes further, but and that's that's going to take me at least an hour driving on the city roads to get up that way. Well, myself out of the way spot. There are some the residential houses that are over that way. They're a little dilapidated. So they're probably like the cheapest housing that someone's renting. I don't know if anybody owns them. Maybe they do. But rough places. Yep, hey, people gotta live how they gotta live. You know, obviously people live in their vehicles. Either by choice or some by none. I'm looking at doing some long-term camping, so technically living my vehicle part-time, it's really hard to give up the cheapest apartment that I got right now. I, that's and it's winter time, so I gotta want to stay warm right now. Now even though I got a good heater, but uh, this vehicle would need to be set up. I think really, I mean, I could, I, yeah, like like anybody can. You can make something like this work. I would prefer to have something just a little bit bigger, like maybe a full-size van. Shout out to Van City Van Life, Chrome, and my buddy Andy that Chrome knows because I'm in a video. Oh, yeah. That's Andy. He's from local, from Overland Interiors. So I messaged Andy. He said, Dude, I just saw you on Chrome's video. I didn't know you know him. That's so wild. So we have to catch up and get back because Chrome is out in oh, Van City Van Life. Let me be seen. Andy here lives in Ontario <clears throat> by me. So, so we're going to catch up um, when he gets back. <coughs> he should be back. But, well, by now, I believe. But the weekend's going to be busy. So, and probably next week, I'll see how he's up to. Maybe run a few ideas about him, about uh, the setup I, I would like to see in here to see how I can make that work. I'll get some ideas of how to do a, a unique little setup in here, which uh, might be really, really kind of cool. But we'll get into that later. But yeah, a very overcast day, just kind of blah out, but not stupidly cold. Like, I don't have the car running, I don't need to have the heater running, so that's comfortable enough. And I'm about 40 minutes away from uh, where I need to be for, for my next little bit of uh, tech work. And like about half an hour before I really have to leave, I'll probably leave a little bit before then. 
go for a little drive and see what we see. I did see two Honda Elements before I even left the city. One passed me as I was just warming up my vehicle. I was like, oh, hey. And I believe I did meet him at the uh, the Turkey Run uh, video, which I do have up there. I have to go back because he's had a unique license plate and it says uh, Hobo Rail. So it's like, that's not, not, not something you can kind of forget. I'm going, wait, that looks familiar. And I don't particularly remember the, the driver of the vehicle, the owner. Um, but I'll have to go back over my video and see if I can see him. I'm going to tag him in on the group too, but that was kind of funny. And then I saw another guy. So there's a pretty reasonable amount of elements out here, man. You'd be surprised. But they're, they're obviously good vehicles. They last a Honda, man. I'm way past my oil change and the car's hunting just fine. But I feel kind of bad by, you know, having to not keep up exactly on my oil change. But we do what we got to do. And uh, I should have it done next week anyway. So it's not going to be the end of the world. And it's not like it's bone dry. It's low, but... If it was like, you know, not even on the oil dipstick, different story. I just like to be a little more, you know, meticulous whenever I can. But, you know, we, we make do with what we got and have a little bit of fun at the same time. Oh, I'll have to, maybe I'll look at the map and find another spot to find. And uh, on the way there, I'll have to, I'll see if I can remember to throw up a screenshot of what Ontario looks like and how hard it is to find a, and a place to just kind of be away from everything it's so so developed southern ontario when you look at it you sort of go where's all the free space because there isn't any but that's what we got and then you have to go quite a ways away just to you know be away yeah it's not that i don't i like people i like being around people but sometimes i just want to take that step back and relax enjoy some nature because you're so far away from it in our city lives but like that uh, one little saying says, I want to build a life that I don't need a vacation from. And doing this kind of thing, let me do it. I mean, I can go away somewhere and uh, drive, see nature, do some work, get paid I mean, a pretty you know, reasonable amount of money. And get everything all in at once and you know, have a home base to come back to. But uh, if I didn't have that rent, that's a good chunk of money I could put into this vehicle. On a monthly basis, I'd get everything up to spec within a couple of months without even blinking. I could have a, a good solar system set up, um, have a custom bed. I'm, I'm kind of talking myself into this, aren't I? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's the that's the funny thing, right? Uh, when you got to weigh your pros and cons and see what you want to do most. I think I'll wait out the winter before I do any major changes, unless something drastically happens where I need to. I can't see any changes happening. And, you know, my landlords are good people. You know, they're, I get along with them great. So, we'll, we'll hang it out. Give me time to sort out the rest of things that need to be done. You know, get rid of some of the excess, you know, crap we build up at home. And uh, then go from there. You know, one step at a time. Business is starting to pick up a little bit, which is nice. So... I won't complain if I can afford the apartment and still be able to just take off whenever the heck I want. That's kind of a bit of the plan what I would like to do. Well, anyways, let's see how the rest of the day goes. So the brakes and this thing are pretty good. <laughs> this was a quick stop and uh, didn't even trip the uh, ABS and the tires held on pretty good. Woo! But this is a small little town. Um, this is uh, Kuda? Yeah, it's in Cayuga. Sorry. <laughs> I had to think where I am. Sometimes I just kind of drive through and just enjoy some of this stuff. But it's a cute little town. And now we're just heading out of it.
train's fine, guys. We'll get this one. <laughs> <laughs> Hope nobody blinked. Now we're entering the town of Simcoe. There's some, always some construction about to start happening. I guess with all the orange mushrooms. That's right. It's orange mushroom season. They come up every May and they go away every April. Comment in the comments if you know what that means. All done for the day. Two and a half hours. Not two, well, three hours actually. All things considered, that's not terrible. That's par for the course. But it's now dark out and it's an hour drive home and you're gonna get part of me in the light depending if someone has brake lights on in front of me or not apparently so let's have a nice casual ride home shall we and end the day well i still have to meet someone do some more business stuff so at least that'll be for coffee <laughs>